Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's chat about being triggered. Everyone gets triggered from time to time by someone, right? It's common to think that when someone triggers us, it's because we're insecure or dealing with our own issues. However, did you know that often, someone triggers you because they're either jealous or envious of you? When triggered, it's not always about personal insecurities. Sometimes, the person triggering you is projecting their jealousy or envy. You might unknowingly trigger them because of their insecurities, causing them to react in ways that sting and make you react differently. This unawareness can lead you further down a negative path. Consider your relationship with the person who triggers you. Do you have something they want? Are you in a relationship while they're single? Do you have kids while they want children? Are you successful in your job while they're struggling? This isn't about feeling superior, it's about recognizing that you might have something they desire. For example, a client had a mother-in-law who wasn't very nice. The client, a loving, kind mother with amazing qualities, seemed to trigger her mother-in-law because she wasn't those things herself. The mother-in-law's passive-aggressive behavior was rooted in her own insecurities. Everyone has people in their lives who trigger them. Sometimes, it feels like a competition. For instance, being triggered by someone who always wants to outdo you. It can feel like a personal attack until realizing it's about triggering their insecurities. It's not about you, it's about them. Understanding this can help stop taking their actions personally. This doesn't mean you won't feel triggered or annoyed, but understanding how to handle these feelings is crucial. Jealousy is always rooted in someone's insecurity. It's not about you, but about what you represent to them. Recognizing this can help set boundaries. Here's a quick list of behaviors indicating jealousy or envy, downplaying achievements, being fake, talking behind your back, being overcritical, and passive aggressiveness. These behaviors often stem from unresolved issues. Many people don't realize their own wounds and project their insecurities onto others. This isn't something that can always be addressed directly, but reactions can be managed. Identify those in life who might be insecure and understand what you have that they might lack. Recognize triggers and take responsibility for them without retaliating or taking things personally. It can be hard to see what's really happening when angry or frustrated. Sometimes, talking to an outside person can help gain perspective. Understanding the situation gives more control over responses. Remember, being human means it's okay to be reactive sometimes. Unpack the story created about this person's actions. Often, this story fuels the emotional response. It becomes a game of slowing down and recognizing triggers to handle them better. If the goal is to stop being triggered by someone, acknowledge when being triggered and take responsibility for the reaction. Hopefully, this video is helpful. Comment below with any topics or personal situations for discussion. It's great to hear from you and be active in the comments for the first few hours after posting. Take care and see you in the next video.